Hello, welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, the Bible, for July 4th, 2023. Happy holiday, everyone, in Jesus' name. Here, we will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, the Bread of Life, with the goal of hearing all of the Bible by the end of December 2023, increasing our faith and pleasing the Heavenly Father. For the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17 reads, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. The book of Second Corinthians Chapter 5, verse 7 reads, For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. Amen. The book of John, chapter 17, verse 13 through 19 reads, But now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy f fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Verse 15, I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Verse 17, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified by the truth. And we have just heard that the truth is the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And glory to God in the highest. The book of John chapter 15 verse 7 reads, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Amen. And we know that the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 30, in the Amplified reads, The fruit of the uncompromisingly righteous is a tree of life, and he who is wise captures human lives for God as a fisher of men. He gathers and receives them for eternity. And the book of Luke eleven twenty eight, 28, Jesus said, But he said, More than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. And so the words of life that we shall hear today are Psalm 31, Proverb 4, because it is the fourth day of the month, and there are 31 Proverbs, seemingly one for each day of the month. The New Testament reading will be from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 1 through 20. And the Old Testament reading will be from the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 5, verse 6 through chapter 5, through 1 through 40, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, chapter 1 through verse 40. All scriptures are taken from the amplified version of the Bible today. Though there were scripture readings in the introduction today from the New King James Version of the Bible, copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson, incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. We will resume tomorrow with reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. Actually, we will resume the following day after the completion of the book of Matthew. And now, I'd like to thank every listener of Jesus for all too. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your faith is increasing, your knowledge of the promises of God, and your ability to walk in those promises. Amen. If it is benefiting you, I pray you would share Jesus for all too with another and that you would subscribe. And now, Psalm 31, a Psalm of David, and it reads, in you, O Lord, do I put my trust and seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame or have my hope in you disappointed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. 
Be my rock of refuge, a stone fortress to save me. Yes, you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Draw me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength and my stronghold. Verse 5, into your hands I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, the God of truth and faithfulness. You and I abhor those who pay regard to vain idols, but I trust in, rely on, and confidently lean on the Lord. Verse 7, I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy and steadfast love, because you have seen my affliction, you have taken note of my life's distresses. And you have not given me into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a broad place. Have mercy and be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. With the grief my eye is weakened, also my inner self and my body. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighing. My strength has failed because of my iniquity, and even my bones have wasted away. To all my enemies I have become a reproach, but especially to my neighbors, and a dread to my acquaintances who flee from me on the street. Verse 12, I am forgotten like a dead man, and out of mine like a broken vessel am I. For I have heard the slander of many. Terror is on every side. While they schemed together against me, they plotted to take my life. But I trusted and relied on, and was confident in you, O Lord. I said, You are my God. Verse 15, My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my foes and those who pursue me and persecute me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake and in your, right, your loving kindness. Let me not be put to shame, O Lord, or disappointed, for I am calling upon you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent in Sheol, the place of the dead. Verse 18. Let the lying lips be silenced, which speak insolently against the consistently righteous, with pride and contempt. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear, revere, and worship you. Goodness, which you have brought for those who trust and take refuge in you before the sons of men. Let me take that again, verse 19. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear, revere, and worship you. Goodness, which you have wrought for those who trust and take refuge in you before the sons of men. In the secret place of your presence, you hide them from the plots of men. You keep them secretly in your pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous loving favor when I was beset as in a besieged city. As for me, I said in my haste and alarm, I am cut off from before your eyes, but you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you for aid. O oh, love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful and plentifully pays back him who deals haughtily. Verse 24 and last. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for... Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for and hope for and expect the Lord. Amen. And this word in the name of Jesus Christ is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ are every of us the hearers. Hallelujah and glory to God in the highest. And now Proverb 4 in the name of Jesus Christ and it reads, Hear my sons the instruction of a father and pay attention in order to gain and to know intelligent discernment, comprehension, and interpretation of spiritual matters. For I give you good doctrine. What is to be received, do not forsake my teaching. When Solomon was a son with my father David, tender and the only son in the sight of my mother Bathsheba. Uh, let me take that again. When I, Solomon, was a son with my father David, tender, and the only son in the sight of my mother Bathsheba, he taught me and said to me, Let your heart hold fast my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get skillful in godly wisdom, get understanding, discernment, comprehension, and interpretation. Do not forget and do not turn back from the words of my mouth. Forsake not wisdom, and she will keep, defend, and protect you. Love her, 
and she will guard you. Verse 7. The beginning of wisdom is get skillful and godly wisdom. For skillful and godly wisdom is the principal thing. And with all you have gotten, get understanding, discernment, comprehension, and interpretation. Prize wisdom highly and exalt her, and she will exalt and promote you. She will bring you to honor when you embrace her. She shall give to your head a wreath of gracefulness, a crown of beauty and glory she will she deliver to you. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life shall be many. I will have taught you in the way of skillfully and godly wisdom, which is comprehensive insight into the ways and purposes of God. I have led you in paths of uprightness. Verse 12. When you walk, your steps shall not be hampered. Your path will be clear and open. And when you run, you shall not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have caused trouble or vexation. Their sleep is taken away unless they have caused someone to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the uncompromisingly just and righteous is like the light of dawn that shines more and more brighter and clearer until it reaches its full strength and glory in the perfect day to be prepared. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Consent and submit to my sayings. Let them not depart from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart. For they are life to those who find them, healing and health to all their flesh. Keep and guard your heart with all vigilance. And above all, that you guard for out of it flow the springs of life. Put away from you false and dishonest speech and willful and contrary talk put far from you. Let your eyes look right on with fixed purpose, and let your gaze be straight before you. Consider well the path of your feet, and let all your ways be established and ordered aright. Verse 27 and last. Turn not aside to the right hand or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ are every of us the hearers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. And now, the New Testament reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 28. And it reads, now after the Sabbath, near dawn of the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala and the other Mary went to take a look at the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled the boulder back and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his garments as white as snow. And those keeping guard were so frightened at the sight of him that they were agitated and they trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be alarmed and frightened, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, as he said he would do. Come, see the place where he lay. Verse 7. Then they go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead, and behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they left the tomb hastily with fear and great joy and ran to tell the disciples. And as they went, behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail, greetings. And they went up to him and clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be alarmed and afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go into Galilee, and there they will see me. Verse 11. There they will see me. Amen. While they were on their way, behold, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the chief priests everything that had occurred. And when they, the chief priests had gathered with the elders and had consulted together, they gave a sufficient sum of money to the soldiers 
and said, Tell people that his disciples came at night and stole him away while we were sleeping. And if the governor hears of it, we will appease him and make you safe and free from trouble and care. So they took the money and did as they were instructed, and this story has been current among the Jews to the present day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed, and made appointment with them. And when they saw him, they fell down and worshipped him, but some doubted. Verse 18, Jesus approached and, breaking the silence, said to them, All authority, all power of rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go then and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them into the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Verse 20, teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you all the days, perpetually, uniformly, and on every occasion, to the very close and consummation of the age. Amen which means, so let it be. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As are, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every of us the hearers. And now, the Old Testament reading, continuing today in the book of Chronicles. Second Chronicles. chapter 5. Second Chronicles chapter 5, and it reads, Now we came to the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. For Reuben was the eldest, but because he polluted his father's couch with Bil- Bilhah, his mother's concubine, his birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, favorite son of Israel. So the genealogy is not to be reckoned according to the birthright. Judah prevailed above his brethren, and from him came the prince and leader, and eventually the Messiah. Yet the birthright was Joseph's. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanak, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Joel, Shemaiah his son, Gog his son, Shimei his son, Micah his son, Reiah his son, Baal his son, Barah his son, whom Tig- Tilgoth Pilsner, king of Assyria, carried away captive. He was a prince of the Reubenites, verse 7, and his brethren by their families. When the genealogy of the generation was reckoned, the chief, Jael, and Zechariah, Bela, son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who dwelt in Ararah as far as Nebo and Baal-Meon. Eastward, Bela inhabited the land as far as the entrance into the desert, this west side of the river Euphrates, because their cattle had multiplied in the land of Gilead. In the days of King Saul, they made war with the Hagarites of Ish- or Ishmaelites, who fell by their hands. They dwelt in their tents in all the land east of Gilead. The children of Gad, who dwelt opposite them in the land of Bashan, as far as Salka. Joel, the chief Shep- Shepham, the next Janai and Shaphat in Bashan. Their kinsmen of the houses of their fathers, Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jakan, Zia, and Eber, seven in all. These were the sons of Abihel, son of Huri, the son of Jarah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshihai, the son of Jahado, the son of Buzz. Ahai, son of Abdel, the son of Guni, was chief in their father's houses. They dwelt in Gilead, in Bashan, and in its towns, and in all the suburbs and pasture lands of Sharon, to their limits. All these were enrolled by genealogies in the days of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the second king of Israel. The sons of Reuben, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, valiant men, able to bear buckler and sword, and to shoot with bow, and skillful in war, war, were 44,760, able and ready to go forth to war. And these Israelites on the east side of the Jordan River made war with the Hagarites, a tribe of northern Arabia, Jetor, Nafish, and Nodab. They were given help against them, and the Hagarites, or Ishmaelites, were divided, were delivered into their hand, and all who were allied with them. For they cried to God in the battle, and he granted their entity, because they relied on, clung to, 
and trusted in him. Verse 21. And these Israelites took away their adversaries' herds, of their camels 50,000, and of sheep 250,000, and of donkeys 2,000, and of the lives of men 100,000. For a great number fell mortally wounded, because the battle was the Lord's because the battle was God's. And these Israelites dwelt in their territory until the captivity by Assyria more than five centuries later, as noted in 2 Kings chapter 15, 29. And the people of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. Their settlements spread from Bashan to Baal Hermon, Sinur, and Mount Hermon. And these were the heads of their father's houses, Ephor, Ishi, Elel, Azarel, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadel, mighty men of strength of mind and spirit, enabling them to encounter danger with firmness and personal bravery, famous men and heads of the houses of their fathers. They transgressed against the God of their fathers and played the harlot by unfaithfulness to their own God and running after the gods of the native peoples whom God had destroyed before them. Whom God had verse twenty verse twenty six. So the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pol, king of Assyria, that is the spirit of Tigath Pilsner, king of Assyria, and he carried them away, the Reubenites, Gadites, and the half tribe of Manasseh, and brought them to Hala, Habor, Hara, and the river goes on to this day. Amen. To this day. Chapter 6 The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Kohath, Amran, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzel. The children of Amran, Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. The sons also of Aaron, Nadab, Ehu, Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. Eliezer was the father of Phinehas, Phinehas of Abishua. Abishua was the father of Buki, and Buki of Uzi, Uzi of Zariah, and Zariah of Meroth, Meroth of Amariah, and Amariah of Ahitab, Ahitab of Zadok, and Zadok of Ahimaz, Ahimaz of Azariah, and Azariah of Johanan, Johanan of Azariah, who was the priest in the temple Solomon built in Jerusalem, Azariah of Amariah, and Amariah of Ahitab. Ahitab of Zadok, and Zadok of Shalom, Shalom of Hikiah, and Hilkiah of Azariah, Azariah of Suriah, and Suriah of Jehozadok. Jehozadok went into captivity when the Lord sent Judah and Jerusalem into exile by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershom, Libni, and Shimei. The sons of Kohath, Amran, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzel. The sons of Merari, Mahali, and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites according to their fathers. Of Gershom, Libni, his son, Jahath, his son, Zimma, his son, Joah, his son, Edo, his son, Zariah, his son, Jethurai, his son. The sons of Kohath, Aminadab, his son, Korah, his son, and Aser, his son, Elkanai, his son, Ebisap, his son, Asher, his son. Tahath his son, Uriel his son, Uzziah his son, and Shual his son, and the sons of Elkanai, Amasai, Ahimoth, Elkanai his son, Zophi his son, Nahath his son, Eliab his son, Jerahath his son, Elkanai, Samuel's father, his son. The sons of Samuel, the firstborn, Joel and Abiha, the sons of Merari, Mahali, Zip, Libni, his son, Shimei, his son, Uzzah, his son, Shimea, his son, Haggaiah, his son, Asaiah, his son. Verse 31, But David put over the service of song in the house of the Lord after the Ark of the Covenant rested there, after being taken by the Philistines and later placed in the house of Abinadab, where it remained for nearly 100 years. During the rest of Samuel's judgeship, 
and Saul's entire reign and into David's reign. They ministered before the tabernacle of the tent of meeting with singing until Solomon had built the Lord's house in Jerusalem, performing their service in due order. These and their sons served of the Kohathites, Heman the singer, the son of Joel, the son of Samuel, the great prophet and judge, the son of Elkanai the third, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elel, the son of Toa, the son of Zoph, the son of Elkaniah the second, the son of Mahath, the son of Amasi, the son of Elkanai the first, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tahath, the son of Ashur, the son of Ebas, Ebiaseth, the son of Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, Jacob. Heman, tribal's brother Asaph, stood at his right hand, Asaph's son of Berechiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Michael, the son of Baseah, the son of mal the son of Ethni, the son of Zariah, the son of Adiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zimah, the son of Shemai, the son of Jahath, the son of Gershon, the son of Levi, their kinsmen, the sons of Morai, stood at the left hand, Ethan, son of Kishi, the son of Abdi, the son of Moloch, the son of ha Hashbiah, the son of Amizah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Amazi, the son of Bani, the son of Shimmer the son of Mali, the son of Mushi, the son of Merari, the son of Levi, and their brethren, the Levites, who were not descended from Aaron, were appointed for all kinds of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. But the line of Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar of burnt offerings and the altar of incense, ministering for all the work of the holy of holies, and to make atonement for Israel according to all that Moses, God's servant, had commanded. The sons of Aaron, Eliezer his son, Phinehas his son, Abusa, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Uzi his son, Zerariah his son, Merathoth his son, Amariah his son, Ahitab his son, Zadok his son, Ahimaz his son. Their dwelling places are according to their settlement within their borders to the sons of Aaron of the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the first lot. To them they gave Hebron in the land of Judah and its surrounding suburbs. But the fields of the city and its villages they gave to Caleb, son of Jephaniah, for Jephaniah. For the sons of Aaron they gave the city of refuge, Hebron, also Libna, and its pasture lands, Jertur, Estemoa, and its pasture lands, Helin with its pasture lands, Debur with its pasture lands, Ashan with its pasture lands, and Beth Shemesh with its pasture lands. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Geba, Almeth, and Anathoth, with their pasture lands, all their cities according to their families were thirteen. And to the rest of the Kohathites, ten cities were given by Lot out of the family of the tribe of Ephraim and of Dan, and of the half tribe of the Manasseh. To the Gershomites, according to their families, were allotted thirteen cities out of the tribes of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Manasseh in Bashan. To the Merorites were given by Lot according to their families twelve cities out of the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. And the Israelites gave to the Levites these cities and their pasture lands. They gave by Lot out of the tribe of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin these cities whose names are mentioned. Some of the families of the Gohathites had cities in the allotted territory out of the tribe of Ephraim. And the Ephraimites gave to the Levites the city of refuge Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, also Gezer, both with their suburbs and their pasture lands. And their pasture lands. Jokalim, Beth Horon, Ajijan, and Gab Gath Rimon with their suburbs and pasture lands. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, these cities with their suburbs and pasture lands, Anur and Bileam, for the rest of the families of the sons of Kohath. To the Gershonites were given out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan, and Ashtaroth, with their suburbs and pasture lands. Out of the tribe of Issachar, with their tribes and pasture lands, Kedesh, Deborath, Ramoth, and Enim. Out of the tribe of Asher, with their suburbs and pasture lands, Mashhal, Abdon, 
Hakok, and Rehob. And out of the tribe of Naphtali with their suburbs and pasture lands, Kadesh in Galilee, Haman, and Kirath Tham. To the rest of the Merorites were given from the tribe of Zebulun, Rimono, and Tabor with their sabres suburbs and pasture lands. On the other side of the Jordan, on the east side of the Jericho, the Levites were given out of the tribe of Reuben these cities, with their suburbs and pasture lands, Bezor in the wilderness, Jasa, Kedemoth, and Mepha. Out of the tribe of Gad, these cities, with their suburbs and pasture lands, Ramoth in Gilead, Mahanaim, Heshbon, and Jazer. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ are every of us the hearers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed and we thank the Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for his word we thank him for giving unto us the book of Psalm 107 verse 20 which reads he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Father, we thank you for sending your word and healing us and delivering us from every destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And let us pray from Psalm 28, and it reads, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father, for being our rock. Thank you for hearing our prayers as we lift up our hands to you. O oh Lord, we ask for mercy. Let there be no malice or mischief in our hearts. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for being our strength, our shield, our trust, and help. In the name of Jesus Christ, we rejoice for your anointing, saving, and nourishing our minds, shepherding us forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Father, we thank you, we honor you, and we bless your holy name. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, and we thank you for your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for leading and guiding us by thy great light and your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. In Jesus' name.